This was about eight o'clock in the morning, uh, first job of the day. Um, in total, this this actually this lawn takes me nearly an hour. It's uh, it's a little bit bigger than it actually looks on the camera, and uh, there is actually quite a lot of streaming on this one as well. And uh, I'm tr I'm trying to get into my lawns a bit more. Um, I, I do a lot of lawns, and I'm, I'm just, you know I'm trying to get a bit more interest into them if I can. Um, Time will tell. <laughs> Apart from going right round the other, the outside and going round the traditional trampoline and uh, swings, bulk of the streaming is this end, um, round the shrubs and the small trees they planted in the lawn. Um, the, the obstacles I've always found, the more obstacles, uh, it slows the job down so much. Um, I mean, a lawn, say 50% bigger than this, you could probably do it. It's only then quicker if it was just nice and square, no obstacles, because you're just blasting up and down. But uh, as soon as you get obstacles, I always find it slows things down quite a lot. Um, this border, uh, there's no defined edge to it at all. I think over years it's, it's crept out, so. Um, I've been sort of controlling the, controlling the edge of the border with a strimmer, so, uh, and uh, here we go mowing. I'm afraid the sun was really bright this day and uh, I couldn't get the camera very high, so um, I do apologise. Um, but uh, bugger that was cold, Tuesday. It weren't quite a frost, but uh, there was a very sharp, lazy wind. And uh, I think I've probably got halfway around this lawn before I manage to get my jacket off. But uh, it's been it's been very variable, variable weather this week. Um, say Tuesday, it was lovely sunshine, but blooming cold. Wednesday, I think we had snow, hail, rain, sunshine, you name it. Um, Thursday was a complete washout, so. Um, it's, it's been uh, an interesting week, shall we say. This one's a, a lovely garden to work in. Um, this is actually the one I did two days um, of that board you see before coming all back with the roses. And um, it, you know, it's, it's a lovely garden. Um, I was going to take a little bit of a picture of the border now, um, but I did forget. So I'm going to try next time in a couple of weeks when I go back. At this point here, um, I'm actually going over. Uh, two stripes I've already done because they were horrendously wonky. Um, I've, I've often found sometimes if you, you your lines ain't very straight, it can be a big mistake trying to go over them again. Um, I've always found that often you can make them worse. But 
them two were that bad, I, I didn't have nothing to lose on it. Uh, the problem is, is a, is a quite, a, is a bit of a hump, and there's a, a bit of a quite horrendous dip towards the end there. So um, they do throw you out. And uh, I'd already scrimmed around the uh, trampoline and the uh, swing, and then the bit I just don't like is, is, is going around with a mow around these bits. It's, um, just a bit of a pain, you sort of round in circles and shunting back and forth. So. Even though this bit is a bit of a pain to go around, um, I am, I'm trying and I am reasonably enjoying cutting this particular lawn um, so it's, it's a funny old job really so but uh, I do actually do two hours here once a fortnight um, so it's pretty much I do the lawn um, on this visit I spent an hour in that in that border behind but uh, it, it's a quite a big place um, they got a main house and then there's a, a cottage here on, on the same site as well which has got its own garden and uh, there's quite a lot of trimming to do so uh, it, it's, it's an interesting one this one uh, there's always something different to do and I, I mean I don't know if it's right or wrong but once I've been up and down and mowed everything I actually go round the outside twice uh, to take out any marks or any bits missed where I've turned and so you have two stripes all the way around the outside. Thank you.